guys, guys. So this house right here used to be called the House of Many Colors and is off of Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa, Florida. And I wanna tell you a little bit of the history behind this home, which just went back on the market. Okay, so in the 20s and 30s, a man named Bill Phlox was the owner of this home and he was known as a very eclectic guy. Um, he was a mason and an artist designer type and like I said, what was known in those days as eclectic. He decided to paint the home 47 different colors. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any color photos from those days to show you what the original painting and, and color scheme kind of looked like, but you get an idea kind of with this article. Um, and a lot of people, the locals were guessing if he either lost a bet or joined a cult. He also owned a little property north of where the home is for a statuary. Here is the only picture I could find of said statuary. Very beautiful. Now, this guy just wasn't into color and things being colorful. As I said, he was eclectic, so he had kind of weird things in his house when these people came in to interview him and look around the house back in the day. Um, apparently, they had lots of uh, statues in that statuary. One was a snake charmer, um, and there was some kind of Mickey Mouse thing. And also, we're in the Tampa area, we're known for our Gasparilla season festival um, and lore. And he also kind of incorporated that in the house as well. Apparently, there was some kind of, you know, Gasparilla guy with a gun on the wall. I don't know. Anyway. So Bill decided that another thing that he wanted to incorporate into his home and property were totem poles, which ironically you still see in some random places downtown Tampa and in the Bayshore area. And so it's kind of cool to put those two things together now as I've lived here for a long time and had no idea. After he decided to put those totem poles in, his neighbors kind of were like, okay, we've had it. And he decided that he would paint the house regularly. These are just a few of the photos of the home. Beautiful, but very much lacking in color. Tons of light. I said it was lacking in color, but I absolutely adore that they left that stained glass door there. Bright kitchen, looks like it has a lot of storage. They left the bougie bathroom. The backyard. Again, I'm Sarah, and if you're looking for any home like this or just like the history, let me know.